equal opportunities for CA. Okay. What else? See, sir, if uh, any of you wish to unmute also, I'll allow it, but wait for some time so that, uh, you know, I first get all the questions and then, uh, you know, I can take them up. The CMA use have a wider scope as compared to India CMA. Last time, right, we did a session like this and we actually spoke for half an hour and then only had half an hour for uh, student queries. So we decided that this time, let us first address student queries and then come to what we have to say. Okay. Uh, next question is, uh, any opportunities that can be pursued while preparing for CA final? Okay. Job opportunities. Okay. Then, anything else, feel free. Okay. So, see, the point is, uh, we are here to answer all your questions. Uh, no matter how stupid, simple, idiotic, whatever you think of it, doesn't matter. Nobody is going to laugh at you. Nobody knows who you are. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, there is nothing wrong in uh, asking questions. Uh, please feel free to ask and we are here to answer. What are the major advantages of having CMA India along with CMA US? Uh, is IGNO and ICI scheme still available in new scheme? What kind of career opportunity? Of field of security. security. Uh, somebody just, ah, Suraj is back. Yes. Back. Oh, guys, uh, there was, uh, because of the heavy rains, back to back power interruption. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, one thing is, uh, you know, uh, the session we planned now immediately after the results. One of the reason is a lot of students who have completed CA final or a lot of students who have, you know, completed inter or are struggling in clearing the CA inter. I'm being very frank here because I've seen a lot of students after, you know, multiple attempts, like uh, what is to be done, right? That is one more angle which we want to address today as a part of this uh, webinar. So any questions, anything you have, feel free, you know, uh, to ask ask us out here. We will help you. We will guide you. Uh, Sri Ram himself is a CA, CFA, and ISP grad. I myself am a CA and CIMA. So we'll guide you. Feel free to ask. Uh, that is the whole purpose of the, you know, webinar. And the more you ask questions, uh, the more we'll be able to help you. Uh, please uh, take it that way, right? Yes, Sri Ram, we can uh, continue. Yeah, so there are a couple of more questions. Uh, whether we have available exemptions in CA's article after completing CA. Wanted to know exemptions for CA students with BCom for ACCA. Uh, sir, if you want to be part of IP, what should we do? Good question. Mm. What else, guys? So, see, because the thing is, uh, uh, we are the one place where we will not uh, be upset if you ask questions. This is a forum to ask questions. So, please ask. Okay, we have got a bunch of questions. Uh, let us start off first answering these questions and the questions that people have sent in, and then we'll come to uh, you know uh, what is to be done uh, or how people should approach the various courses and all. In the meanwhile, I'm pretty sure Suraj will also you know share the screen. We can go through other stuff. So uh, there is one question on foreign opportunities. Okay, guys. So uh, honestly speaking, it and Suraj, you can please feel free to add in. Uh, uh, one of the courses that actually gives you foreign opportunities is actually, uh, you know, the, there are two actually large courses which give opportunities for uh, foreign opportunities. One is CPA, second one is ACCA. Uh, CA per se does not directly give you a foreign opportunity. Same way with, uh, you know, uh, Indian CMA or, you know, even CFA for that matter. The reason is uh, CPA is a US qualification. Uh, and uh, most of the CPAs uh, work there. Uh, uh, we have some offices in India, some large corporates in India, some MNCs in India. Uh, not many domestic companies, but only people, multinationals uh, employ CPAs in India. Same way, ACCA is more a global qualification, uh, which, uh, issue, which ensures that you get a slightly more global knowledge than what you get with, when you do a CA, which is more Indian knowledge, where we have income tax, DST, Indian company tax, so on and so forth. But... Most important thing to note is you don't get automatically a job abroad just because you've completed a CPA or an ACCA. They are not your tickets for going abroad. Okay. Just because you've done this, you will not be get a job abroad. If you are looking for a job abroad and search for a job and that, that job has a CPA or ACCA requirement, you may get it. Okay. 
so it is you have to understand the difference uh, you these are not like really the kind. so just think of it no even engineering people a lot of people who pursue engineering do all engineering graduates in india get a job outside india it is not that is not the case if there are some companies international companies which come to their campus and recruit and get it they may get but that doesn't mean that everybody gets a job outside india a lot of them go outside india study their masters or ms or something and then they get a job outside india so please don't assume that there is any particular place where you know just because you are a ca or acca cfa cma cpa they will welcome you with a garland and give you a job no it doesn't exist there may be few exceptions there may be one person here one person there two people here two people there who may be doing things like that but by design if you are expecting that i finish the course tomorrow or today i got a certificate tomorrow somebody is going to call and give me no that doesn't happen okay next question is uh you are interested in uh, which is better acc and cfa for risk management investment banking answer is very clear is cfa then uh, there somebody has asked a question how to study for cfa uh, this is a, yeah suraj you want to answer that yeah i just no i, I didn't listen to the question because again there was a power interruption so just uh, one more thing students uh, there is a lot of thing around you know uh, a lot of people promoted that you know you complete uh, some international qualification and automatically you will get a job that it doesn't work that way and it is true not only for international courses it is also true for domestic courses as well for example ca just by completing ca you will not get a uh, qualification right uh, you will not get a job the moment you qualify as a chartered accountant so same thing applies even for international courses if you just qualify it doesn't mean that you have a passport ready or visa ready and you will get a job abroad right so while pursuing please keep in mind your skill sets also matter when you are uh, pursuing these kind of courses okay theek hai fair enough let me move to the next question uh, somebody has asked about how to prepare for ca and all that that i'm not going to address this is pathways a global pathways and all of that uh, and international courses so i will restrict myself to that however uh, you know there are other sessions we are conducting sometime in you know monday tuesday wednesday and there you can ask about ca cs cma now for cfa there is not much information regarding strategy what has to be adopted in order to secure 90% so in order to secure 90% no uh, you need ex- very very good conceptual knowledge the reason is cfa as an exam is based on conceptual knowledge and they don't take questions from last year question paper uh, or study material question paper or you know rtp mtp there is nothing like that okay what you have in cfa is core concepts you have to learn these concepts you have to understand them deeply you have to have a practical understanding as well as a theoretical understanding of the concepts only then you will be able to move forward okay so that is the first one second thing you uh, you know you there are, there is one more question somebody asked about uh, you know kaplan whether it is bible or not bible i studied from kaplan okay so kaplan condenses the cfa material to a large extent now cfa material is typically good uh, and uh, you know it but it is also bulky so a lot of people don't actually study from the cfa material it is good i'm not saying it is not good if you have one year please go and study they give it decently also but kaplan summarizes synthesizes and makes it very very simple and easy so my strong suggestion study kaplan i know there are faculty who don't like kaplan and all that but i think that is not fair at all because kaplan is extremely good there, see every material will have some mistake some mis- here some mistake there okay icm material also has enough mistakes okay so nobody is free from that because printing errors happen uh, you know other things happen but generally kaplan material is actually very good i studied for all three levels in kaplan that is one second part is uh, you know even after doing from kaplan you have to still study from the cfa material for the specifically the questions that they have asked because the cfa material questions are actually very decent quality okay so you should solve that third important thing the reason why you should take up kaplan for cfa is cfa exam is an online based mcq exam you are supposed to solve online now cfa institute when you register gives you two free marks in addition kaplan if you buy kaplan for the course with us uh, right we give you kaplan original books and we give you more than 3000 mcqs of kaplan that you can test yourself online you actually will have four marks you have a bunch of things around uh, you know uh, course completion and uh, you know your subject topic specific expertise and all of that it is an amazing website the you the, see you only have 90 questions in the exam 90 in the morning 90 in the evening right that's the 
uh, examination uh, thing, not morning evening. What I mean is, you know, first session and second session. Now, you CFA will allow you to actually, uh, you know, uh, say the cap plan will allow you to actually prepare for more than, you know, four, five, seven, ten marks, uh, ten mocks, right? So that is one of the important reasons why you should have cap plan. Now, what is CFA course duration? It typically is about two and a half years. Is what uh, two to two and a half years. The reason is when you start uh, determines when you end because all levels don't have uh, exams at the same time. So level four, level one is conducted four times in a year. Level two is conducted three times. Level three is conducted two times a year. Okay, so that is about CFA. Now coming back to other questions that people have raised, uh, US CMA, uh, and I don't know about CFA. I don't know where to start. You please first register on CFA Institute website, then enroll with a you know tuition or coaching provider like us. Everything will be you will get to know everything. Okay, then uh, somebody asked in CA uh, want to do job abroad. What opportunities will you have? What countries does Indian CA have scope? Largely Middle East and uh, to a certain extent some parts of Africa. Okay, some parts of Europe also probably uh, and Southeast Asia. So uh, you know your Malaysia, Singapore, and all those places. But uh, going to US with your CA degree doesn't really work. Uh, Suraj, you have something to add there? No, no, I think you have covered. That's fine. Okay. 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 Uh, then somebody has asked about uh, you how to do USCMA. What are the job opportunities for USCMA, Indian CMA? What is the difference and all of that? See, US Suraj, I think you are the better the person to explain about USC. Yeah. So uh, the USCMA program, which is the Certified Management uh, Accountant program, which is uh, awarded. Hello, Suraj. Is it around? Hello. Hello. Uh, Suraj? Yeah, am I audible now? I think uh, this, there's been a consistent power fluctuation because of which the internet keeps on going off. So, okay. So, let me take that question. Uh, so, the question was about uh, USCMA. So the thing with USCMA, right? It is a management accounting, uh, uh, you know, qualification. It is not a qualification of past accounting like India, uh, and it is a uh, you know a qualification that is doesn't have levels. It is two parts. So you can write one part in the morning, one part in the evening, or you can write one part this attempt and another part next attempt. But it is not levels. So when you say levels, you 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 have to progress. There is nothing called progression in that. Everything is at one shot, right? So that is the first part about USCMA. Second part about USCMA is in USCMA, you uh, you know you it, it is also an online exam. It is conducted at a you know in a, in a computer center. Uh, you have multiple choice questions and descriptive uh, question also. The you have to get a certain number of marks. I think about uh, at least minimum fifty percent of marks. If you get in your multiple choice question, only then you will progress to your uh, you know your essay type question. But that keeping the exam part aside. Keeping the exam part aside, so keeping the exam part aside, uh, the thing that you have to note is US uh, CMA US has uh, opportunities which are uh, uh, slightly different from let's say a CA or a ACCA or uh, you know things like that. The reason is US CMA uh, is basically uh, you know not necessarily a pure hardcore accounting or audit qualification. Right. So it is not a hardcore audit or accounting qualification. So what happens because of that? Because of that, you actually get more into business finance. So the roles that you actually get in are actually business finance and not and not uh, you know accounting or you know taxation or uh, audit related roles. So you you get more into yeah. business than uh, than into uh, these kind of provisions. Now, now what happens because of that is what happens because of that is. You there are uh, good companies, by the way. You it is not that there are not enough companies or anything. There are good companies that actually can, uh, you know, uh, where you can get recruited. But what typically happens is it slightly narrows down the potential for you because you are typically you don't get jobs in audit firms, right? A lot of ACCAs go and join big fours, but that doesn't happen. So that is one aspect. Secondly, US CMA also doesn't teach you income tax, whereas Indian CMA teaches. Right. So to certain tax and some parts of corporate law and other things. So, so to a certain extent, that is also an issue. 
but uscm is a very good qualification if you are very clear that business uh, man business finance or management accounting is what you need to get into and it can be finished very very quickly you can finish off within 6 months to 1 year also and the pass mark required as i said earlier is 50% only if you complete mcqs and motor essay type and overall pass mark that is required is 72% so you are given a question paper on which 72% you have to get and then you complete so it is also not an easy qualification it's also very you know it, it is a competent qualification and the key factor what we talk about or what they teach you is how to make decisions how to make decisions see if you look at our uh, ca exams or cm uh, indian cm exams only very recently we started moving into this case study based questions case study based mcqs and all but most of the international courses even acca or cma us or cfa they are already there for a quite some time so they are more about uh, you know decision making if this is the scenario what will you do so you have to actually give an advice you have to give a genuine advice as to what the particular company is supposed to do because that is eventually what you'll be doing in your real life so okay so and this qualification is valid in more than 150 countries it is valid in more than 150 countries so it's a very good qualification the only thing i am trying to highlight is you cannot get back into audit related stuff if you if you do a uscma that is the only requirement only uh, you know uh, suggestion of uh, the point that i wish to highlight it. sorry yeah. suraj go on just to add on to that uh, the level of concepts that are tested at cma for accounting is not very much in advanced or not very much in depth as compared to what you learn in acca for example a simple thing like consolidation in consolidation the level of depth you learn as a ca or as an acca or as a cpa that much of that in fact consolidation is not even tested as a part of cma you are more you know supposed to be a business consultant rather than a you know uh, management uh, uh, you know core accountant uh, is uh, you know what i would like to add suraj hello i am there i'm just a second right so the, the you have to keep uh, keep that particular aspect what suraj was highlighting about the management accounting aspect and whether is there any benefit somebody asked is there any benefit to doing both ca cma india and ca me us together i genuinely don't think that there is any such particular benefit that you will get uh because uh, you know both are slightly different direction uh and honestly speaking i genuinely believe that uh, you know ca is a very good qualification if you're planning for to stay in india much better than cma india okay so some of you may be upset about it but uh, this is my opinion you can feel free to disagree but if you are planning to be a cma in india then be a cma in india there is no i mean you know the uh, the additional value that you will get from being cma us is there but if you do cma us alone right the opportunities that it opens up for you in international organizations actually very very high so whether you are doing cma india or plus cma us or cma us alone mncs large scale mncs which have operations across the world which have operated in india as well as opportunities for you know uh, international companies which have their back offices or bpos here their opportunities open up a lot so i would strongly suggest that keep that in mind when you think of us cma versus indian cma in this particular context okay so that is one then somebody is asked is cfa mandatory for investment banking there is no man there are a lot of people who are just a ca or a, just an mba who do investment banking there is cfa is not mandatory for anything okay so don't unnecessarily i don't know why such kind of a uh, you know this thing has come about but i don't think there is anything mandatory like that right now let us move to the other questions that they have asked let me quickly go to the presentation also no let me finish up all of these things uh if somebody is asked which is more uh, which is one is more earlier course to complete after graduation which is having higher pass percentage so uscma is the fastest you can finish it before your graduation also okay but the pass percentage is slightly lower it is about 35 to 50% varies across years okay acca also the you know you can finish off along with graduation but the pass percentage there is about 50 to 60% in some subjects it is 80% also cfa you can finish only after graduation you can start cfa you can write level 1 of cfa uh, when you are when you are in you know last two years of your undergrad that is your bcom and after that you have to finish in the next one and a half two years you have to finish your level 2 and level 3 okay so uh, and cfa pass rates are 40 to 50% okay so and please note only acca is the course which gives you exemptions 
for if you are a bcom ca inter uh, you know ca full or you know cma us or cma india things like that cfa does not give you any exemptions and neither does us cma give you any exemptions both us cma as well as cfa are no exemption business okay oh, exemptions exist only in acc and that too why do they exist because they have three levels and some of the subjects that they have are basically your undergraduate kind of uh, you know courses see because acc also is a professional course it can be done even without undergraduation okay whereas for you to do be called as a cma you need to finish your undergraduation to do your cfa you need to have either an undergraduate degree or relevant work experience okay so which is why acc gives you exemptions if you are an undergrad or a ca inter or a ca final pass to it okay next question is uh, which international course is best for ca student which can be practiced in india it depends on your interest are you interested in joining business finance team of a corporate are you interested in being a global accountant uh, are you interested in getting into proper financial markets like banks or you know stock markets or investment banking if answer is you know banks finance stock markets and all then cfa you want to be an accounting professional then acca you want to get into proper business related stuff where you you know you do work on decision making then cma is well okay each course has a diverse uh, you know requirement versus diverse uh, outcome so you cannot make it blanket that everybody is supposed to uh, you know follow a same kind of uh, uh, setup right so that is one then uh, coming to next questions just a second yeah coming to next set of questions uh, career options after bcom we just discussed uh, uh, you know acca cma cfa these are all the career options Uh, is it feasible for a full time working professional to do, to do these courses along with work 100% uh, in fact uh, most of the cfa students are actually uh, working because um, uh, you can write only level 1 when you are an undergraduate so by default all the cfa people are working only largely 99% okay us cma you will actually do much better if you are in a job because you understand the decision making process much better okay so you do it well acc also very same case because the examination pattern is most case oriented okay they so all these three exams right they don't test your memory unlike ca which is lot more on memory testing uh, these uh, three exams don't test memory right they test your ability to apply the memory or uh, they test your ability to apply the knowledge and the concepts okay you don't have to remember rot to file a lot of things there will be some amount that you'll have to buy hard or very small amount okay but largely they test your analytical ability and application ability so for a person who's already in a job who's daily doing work who's daily taking decisions who has analytical and application ability it is really uh okay just one sec uh somebody mentioned that they're not able to see my video so i'm just trying to see if uh, my video can be made visible Ah, so I made it uh, spotlight, and uh, give me one more sec. are both my video and presentation visible now can somebody let me know both video and presentation being visible presentation is presentation is not uh, both are visible right yeah great thanks a lot thanks a lot uh, now let me come back to what i was discussing uh, the flow uh, is it feasible for working professions absolutely 100% feasible uh, there are somebody said there is no cma final group by subjects like ca inter yes boss we are a primarily a ca training institution when we started now we are expanding to you know we have expanded in the last one one and a half year to cfa us cma and uh, acca uh, indian cma is uh, still not a primary thing for us we do offer some courses but those are largely taken from uh, ca syllabus so we make it very clear very open we have uh, you know the same videos which work for uh, ca syllabus we actually give that to you so at the moment we don't have any plans for launching uh, US, uh, indian cma inter or final all subjects or all courses then then coming back to next what are the other questions uh, you had any other question uh, is it worth doing masters in commerce that is finance transactions for ca finance uh, so one of the things uh, why somebody does an mcom 
is there are certain universities abroad which want you ha to have a 16 years of education. So BCom makes it only 12 plus 3, which is 15 years. Up to 12 standard plus 3 years of BCom makes it 15 years. So a lot of universities abroad ask for 16 years of education. Now for CA final student, if you want to plan, and some universities, some, uh, you know, Universities abroad do recognize CA as a 16th year, but some don't recognize. So in that case, an MCOM, one year or two years of MCOM will, will make sense. Okay. Otherwise, I don't see any reason why it would make sense. Uh, probably some government exams have a requirement that, you know, you're writing uh, in any of the state government exams or something like that, public service commission. Then, uh, you know, they will have a postgraduate, probably in promotion, they may have a higher uh, thing. Okay, so that is that is the only reason. Other than that, uh, uh, you know, uh, I don't see any reason. Which course is good for CA in practice? I responded already. It depends on what practice do you want to do. Okay, uh, how somebody is asking, how do we register to get into ISB? So you need to be a graduate. Uh, you need to preferably you need to have a professional qualification, or you need to be from a good engineering college or a good uh, college. Uh, you know, you can be from a graduate from SRCC or something like that, or a graduate from good, uh, be, uh, you know, Christ University or some other university. Uh, and you preferably you need to have a professional qualification. You need to have a couple of years of work experience at least. And then you need to write GMAT, which is an uh, International Graduate Management Aptitude Test. It's basically like CAT in India. Uh, you need to take that particular test. You need to score minimum above 720. Uh, they say that there is no minimum requirement, but you need typically you need to grow, score above 720. You need to have a good all-round ability in terms of, you know, you need to be a complete person. You, if you are an academic geek, you need to be number one. Or otherwise, you need to have multiple other facets to you because you need to add value to the MBA university college. And then you should also be placeable. So it cannot be that, you know, you're going there to get placed. See, everybody does MBA so that they can move higher up. But then for you to move higher up, you have to be at one particular location, right? So... Uh, I can't see the PPT yet. Uh, I thought I'm sharing the PPT. No, is PPT not visible? Somebody is uh, ping that PPT is not visible. Is it visible or not? Uh, it's visible. So, uh, uh, students, there is, uh, you know, you need to just switch the thumbnail. So, if you see on the right hand side, if you're on mobile phone, you would see a small thumbnail called one thing. I think, Sriram, if you can change the slide, they would be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. My bad, actually. <laughs> I was, I yes, didn't check. Uh, there is a you know uh, logo out there, so you can maybe change to that. Right, I'm moving there. Yeah, this is the this is the deck. This is. The deck. Uh, I think the students now it is visible. Yeah, correct. So uh, somebody now let me move back. Uh, uh, somebody is saying how to hone our skills. Also, what are skills required? Uh, for what? I mean, uh, for how to hone our skills? You have to be. You have to have other have you know other hobbies and all of that stuff. So we take that uh, separately. Because I think it's getting too much into an ISB discussion or a you know MBA discussion. Uh, I will respond to you, Vindya. You please reach out to us at support at indigolearn.com and we will reach out. We will definitely help you. Uh, I will definitely help you. Support at indigolearn.com. Okay, you mail me and I'll tell you what are all required. Okay, somebody is asking, is CMA expensive? Also, how and when exams are conducted? How many exams in one six-month period and all of that? Okay, so Suraj, uh, we'll go to that slide. It's actually faster if we go. So these are the topics in USCMA. I hope you are able to see all of them. There are two parts. Uh, Suraj, please, do you want to take this? Yeah, I'll take that. So uh, when it comes to CMA US, right? So you learn, actually, technically, you learn 12 subjects, to be frank. But those 12 subjects are bundled as two parts. So there is part one, there is part two. You will not be masters in each of these. So you are not expected to learn all of these in too much of depth. But then... At the same time, you are expected to apply those concepts when you are taking decisions in an organization. Okay. So you have external financial reporting, what you learn as financial reporting in CEA, ACC, or CPA. Then you're planning, budgeting, and forecasting. That has to do with, you know, forecasting of, let us say, sales, expenses, preparing, uh, you know, budgets and all of that. Then you have performance management. How does organization measure its performance? So that is one thing. Then you have cost management related to costing part. Then you have internal control to do with audit. So all of these, if you see a CA program or if you see an ACCA program, these are individual subjects. But in CMA, you are made to understand the core concepts, basic concepts that are needed to perform a job. And if using your decision-making skills, that is where you apply these concepts in management decision-making. Then coming to part two, you have financial statement analysis, 
right then you have corporate finance which has to do with you know how do you raise money and all of that then you have decision analysis uh, break even points and all of those related part risk management how do enterprise manage manage risk and then you have investment decisions and ethics so variety of topics packed into a you know a single part part 1 and part 2 so you can write either part you know, part 1 first or part 2 second or part 2 first and then part 1 next that is perfectly fine here you'll be tested using mcqs which will test your concepts and essays which will test your decision making skills and let me tell you a lot of organizations even when they hire uh, for their accounting function they use case studies like for example if you look at hul or if you look at well, let us say mondelez or uh, you know which has been acquired which has acquired cadbury so they they will give you case study for that case study you have to take decisions and uh, decisions could be should a new product be launched or should there be a case like you know the product is to be discontinued should we go into new markets what will happen if taxation changes so all of those things you need to so basically you combine the learning of six topics and you apply to the case study so you will have 100 mcqs and then you need to score 50% in those mcqs to move to the essay then you need to attempt two essays out of 500 you need to score 72% which is 360 now coming to the course fee course fee com- comprises of two parts one is the iima fees your uh, registration and examination fees and the second one is the tuition fee that you would you know uh, pay to the institute so for uh, someone like indigo learn right now also the course fee uh, the registration fee and the examination fee would vary depending on whether you are uh, undergraduate currently performing you know uh, going attending regular college or you have completed your graduation for that there is a different set of fee then they open some discount windows for examination registration and all of that so depending on the category you fall in uh, you know the fees uh, applies uh, for our course our uh, tuition plus material which is you know in association with glime they are the world's number one cma provider our tuition fee is a uh, 50000 and depending on your levels you know the course fee that is the registration fee would vary so if you want to get you know more information about how much should be the registration fee and all of that you can uh, reach out to us and we will you know be more than happy to help you broadly totally about 1.2 to 1.5 lakhs would cover your examination as well as tuition fees okay so that would be the rough fee structure uh, on an overall basis for cma okay uh- somebody asked me about is bcom plus nba sufficient for cfa yes it is sufficient to enroll for cfa not an issue uh, then uh, how to more our skills big four or online reform which is best for article chip now under new scheme i think uh, you know a lot of people would prefer big four by uh, students uh, uh, on article chip we'll have a specific session uh, we'll be conducting a specific session on how to choose firms which firms and all of that so uh, let us keep that question aside for that in a couple of days you know we'll be conducting uh, those sessions eligibility for acca uh, you would ask question uh, so eligible acca can be done if uh, uh, even if you are from class 10 uh, you just finished class 10 or you finished class 12 uh, and you uh, or you finished bcom or doing bcom so acca has multiple ways in which you can enter okay so there is no specific thing that uh, uh, there is a basic minimum requirement there is uh, you know i will share this particular thing uh, just one sec i will share the particular screen uh i don't think we put it here uh, so the thing is uh, acca will require you you know you have to have a certain minimum marks in maths and english if you are uh, coming from class uh, 10 uh, and if you are coming from class 12 uh, but uh, other than that uh, you know if you are a normal graduate with more than 60% marks everywhere which is typically what we see uh, everyone uh, be i think that is a good, sufficient enough uh, number for anyone to get into acca okay now other question somebody asked is uh, acc and ca both are same weightage in prospector in job prospect uh, see so from an indian context ca will have more value uh, from an international context uh, if you are looking for someone who is uh, uh, you know planning to pursue uh, planning to take up a job in middle east or uh, uh, you know in uk or some place then i think they have very similar i won't say they have same i think they have very similar stuff 
the reason is uh, it depends on what the company that is recruiting is looking for the company is looking for someone you know who who you know who understands international uh, taxation international law then obviously acc is a better bet but uh, if that company you know has indian operations is looking for someone with indian qualification obviously ca is what they will look for again one more point acca is easier to complete specifically because of one reason uh, the reason is uh, acca conducts you can write paper by paper you need not write four subjects at a time all four subjects you have to get minimum 40 average 50 it doesn't have all that nonsense okay the pass percentage required is you know slightly higher uh, greater than 50% but the pass marks required is greater than 50 but the advantage with acca is you can write one subject at a time and the, see the depth is also uh, ca wants you to study everything from top to bottom there is acc is not like that they teach you what is relevant what is important what is pertinent to you for a job okay uh, and also please note acc cannot practice in india uh, only cas can practice in india acc is cannot practice in india but acc allows you to move very quickly into the job market unlike ca where a lot of people get stuck so that is in fact one of the first uh, you know points in our deck what we may is uh, you know the reason why people should choose these courses Uh, why people should acc choose acc and cma courses what i have in my slide here right the reason is this you get better you know you there are a lot of people who are stuck due to multiple attempts uh, due to you know in ca or cma they, there is no such thing like that in uh, acc or uh, uscm uh, they, they're equivalent i mean not say same recognition equivalent recognition with respect to specific job and they're far more flexible you get opportunities abroad you get uh, abroad again i am saying when i say abroad you direct just because you finish acc nobody is going to call you and give you a job okay you if there is a job abroad that has acc requirement you can apply and they are globally recognized then somebody was asking a question uh, in acc also they recognize ranks globally as yes, they also have global ranks uh, the acc also has global ranks right big four prefer ca or acc so big four operating in india auditing companies based out of india they obviously will prefer ca because accma you don't study gst you don't study income tax you don't study indian company law those three are very important for someone who is actually doing an audit in india however if you are working on a different kind of when i say audit statutory audit if you're looking at internal audit assignments if you're looking at uh, you know uh, uh, assignments that are related to risk or assignments which, which are related to slightly you know slightly more pure audit when i say you know pure audit uh, audit of purchase items audit of balance sheet audit of sales things like that right where there is indas or ifrs there uh, both of them have equal say so big force depending on the kind of the role, job that you are looking for or the kind of the organization where you are going to be auditing as a auditor and depending on the uh, client they will prefer the kind of candidate so they will have a mix of accs and cas but in india because ca is you know a very large body been there for now 75 years they have uh, uh, you know uh, they, they a lot of them are already cas so they will obviously have some preference for cas but uh, acca is a new body we have we have probably you know 30 40000 students or so in india uh, so they are coming up very aggressively they teach the students much better in fact i have heard this from a lot of people acca students are much more in demand than ca students because acca students are uh, you know better good at communication because why because the exam pattern is also like that you have to understand a case study and respond so they understand how to think right and they are uh, you know far more clear that they want to be in audit they stay longer in jobs big four and all so i know a lot of big four partners who actually said that they prefer acca people but again that's a very you know one off the cuff statement uh, largely you will find both accas as well as cas who are uh, you know working in indian big fours uh anything else you want to add suraj no oh, i think you have covered it uh, comprehensively so one uh, specific part which they asked is uh, you know you have addressed it but uh, let's you are looking at a uh, deloitte us right they would maybe hire acca they would prefer acca if you look at uh, deloitte india haskins and sells they would want ca and one more thing is a lot of firms have started because there is this uh, shortage of article students they have started hiring acca candidates see acc are placed above bcom Okay, so if you're just a BCom, then uh, you know uh, it is at a lower level. So BCom, rather than taking a BCom, they would want to take ACCA. So in fact, uh, if you see our uh, job openings of ACCA, we keep on posting. You know, now and then ACCA. Even if you have passed level two, which is the skill level, there are organizations which are uh, you know ready to hire you. Yeah, 
Yes, so there are organizations which are ready to hire you because uh, there is a lot of serious shortage of article students uh, in uh, uh, CA. So uh, there is tremendous scope for uh, ACCS. Uh, you can actually get into the same audit profession in India or abroad, and you can do it with a much more flexible kind of a setup. And you will learn same stuff. You will not know learn income tax, GST, and company law, but audit you will learn the same thing. Accounting you will learn IFRS. Uh, uh, you know, you learn strategic financial management, then you learn decision making, you learn a lot of stuff which is similar. Okay, uh, that is about ACCA versus CA. Now that somebody is asked, is it advisable to do CA plus BCom or Masters in Economic Revenue? Is there benefit? I always believe that there is a good value in having an undergraduate degree. If your CA doesn't happen, you at least should be a graduate. So my strong suggestion, please do a degree, uh, whether it is IGNO, whether it is Shastra. So we have a type with Shastra where we provide an online degree. So please take up a degree, undergraduate degree, which, which you can showcase and say that you're a graduate in case CA doesn't happen. Even if CA happens, for a lot of places abroad, you need 16 years education and some university may not treat your CA as a 16th year of education. So it is very important to have an undergraduate degree. I cannot stress it enough. Uh, does CFA have article check like uh, CA? No. So more, uh, CFA, uh, then uh, your... Uh, uh, ACCA, CMA, they don't have article check. But what they have is, after they need a certain amount, you can finish the exams. You can finish the exams. Okay. Uh, ACCA and CFA I'm talking about. You finish the exams. And after you finish the exams, you need to have a certain years of work experience or certain amount of experience in the relevant area. So in case of CFA, it is four years. In case of ACCA, it is slightly shorter, I think three years or so. Once you showcase that experience, you can go and say that, you know, I have experience in relevant area. Now you award me the degree or charter. So CFA, if you pass all three levels, you are called a level three pass candidate. If For you to get a charter, you have to have four years of work experience in um, financial industry, with financial markets, stock markets, banks, treasury or whatever. Only then you can go and claim that, see, I have this four years of experience, so award me the charter. Uh, now that four can be before the taking up CFA, during the CFA, after the CFA. Same logic applies for ACCA also. Before, during or after, it is valid. However, please note, CA article ship may be considered for ACCA, whereas uh, such kind of thing, uh, it does not, uh, CA article ship is not considered for uh, CFA. Okay. Somebody is asking why the salary package of US CMA is lower than CA. Yes, it is lower than CA in India. No, In India, uh, because the job opportunities in India are restricted to, you know, early stage business finance, or large uh, MNCs and uh, BPOs of uh, US companies in India or international companies in India. This is where US CMAs get jobs. Whereas CAs have get not only these jobs, CAs also get jobs in audit firms, CAs get jobs in Indian firms, CAs get jobs in MNC, which is why CA is a tougher qualification and has more salary uh, you know, potential than US CMA. Okay, sir, can I know what it can be in foreign countries? So even in foreign countries, it probably will be, see, you have to exist it for uh, PPP. I am not really sure. Uh, I think if you do a simple LinkedIn search, uh, man, uh, who was this? This question is Ritesh. Uh, you do a simple LinkedIn search and search for CMA jobs, CM, US CMA jobs in US or UK, uh, US or Canada. Uh, I think you'll get a better answer. I do not see because again, these kind of things vary from location to location. Uh, and uh, experience and all. So my suggestion, uh, you know, explore it on LinkedIn, you'll get it. Uh, just search for US CMA jobs, uh, you know, in US, you will get that. Okay, what else? Uh, have we covered everything in the presentation? Let me see uh, what to choose. Uh, then, just a second. What to choose? Then uh, we have uh, uh, additional courses. So should you do IFRS or um, you know Excel or financial modeling? Uh, so if you're going into uh, see Excel is required for everyone. <laughs> Whether you are CMA, CS, CPA, CFA, ACCA, Excel is required. Financial modeling. If you're interested in financial markets, investment banking, please take up a course like this. IFRS. If you are interested in continuing a career in accounting or if you want to join an audit firm, take up IFRS. And this is broadly the structure. Overall cost of ACC is about two and a half lakhs. A CMA is 1.2 lakhs. CFA, all three levels is about four and a half lakhs. And CA, all three levels is about uh, 
uh, I think I think I'm two lakh ten thousand. So it is there is a error. You know, it is uh, wrapped. So two lakh ten thousand. Uh, then uh, eligibility I've given. Uh, career prospects also we have discussed. And from the salary perspective, uh, you know, you uh, if you're just a, you know CFA. CA plus CFA gets very good salary. Uh, CAs also get decent salary. Just CFA alone also get decent salary, followed by ACC and CMA. Now, please note these are all starting salaries. Please don't ever think that starting salary is the salary that you learn for the rest of your life. And there are a lot of cases where ACCs and CMAs overtake CAs in salaries as they move up in career because you are, uh, uh, you know, uh, nobody gives you a salary based on what you studied 20 years ago. People give you salary for what you do in the office. They don't give you salary for the, uh, you know, your degree that you put on, you know, you laminate or you, you know, put a frame a degree that nobody gives you salary for that. People give salary for the work that you do and the value that you give. So value delivery is more important than any of these qualifications once you're five years into the job. Not even five years, two years into the job. Okay, somebody is asking uh, if it's taking time to clear CA final, which among the uh, these is best, CFA, CMA or ACCA? So, uh, Murkut, I think that it depends on individual case. I don't think CFA you should take up because CFA is very specialized. Uh, if you are interested in accounting, please go for ACCA. If you are interested in getting a very finishing a course very quickly, joining a job uh, and more into business finance kind of roles, uh, then take up CMA. Uh, this is what I would advise. I would advise definitely not to do CFA if you are uh, you know taking taking time to clear CA final because uh, you know a lot of stuff in SFM whatever is there in CA final SFM is there in almost in level one of uh, CFA. Right, so it is a slightly tougher course, slightly, I'm not saying it is impossible, I'm just saying slightly tougher course. You want a job quickly, finish off CMA or ACCA. CMA, you'll get a, you know, you'll be able to finish it faster. Somebody is asked, is IGNO and ICA type still valid in new course? Of course, it is going to be valid. No, they have not given any specific declaration that it is not valid. Uh, uh, you know, nobody said that, you know, it is not valid. And at least I am not aware. If you are aware, let me know. But I am not aware that it is uh, invalid or anything like that. Okay. Uh, which is better at which field? Just completing CFA 3 levels for the CFA with charter. Both of them doesn't matter because uh, Jagadish, uh, CFA with 3 levels complete or charter with 4,000 hours doesn't matter because both of them are treated equal uh, for a job. Okay. If you are a charter, if you are a charter holder with 4 years of experience, and you are a, not a charter holder, but have 10 years of experience in financial markets and just finished CFA, I don't think uh, you are for this charter will be the issue. Or you are a fresher, you are a 21 year old with uh, no experience in uh, financial markets, but finished CFA. Same logic, uh, there is another person who has been there in financial markets for 5-6 years and is a charter holder and he has 4 years of experience. Obviously, he will be treated better, no? So it is like asking a doctor with MD is better or a doctor with uh, 20 years experience in is better. It depends on the situation, right? After finishing ACCA, can I get a job in India? Yes, you can get a job in India. Big fours are hiring. We in fact are posting a lot of jobs on our for portal uh, where you know we send out messages with that there is a job and all that. So please uh, subscribe to our uh, you know download our app and uh, you know keep your notifications update for ACCA. We do send a lot of job notifications for ACCA. So, in fact, uh, for ACCA, even TCS had uh, come out with an opening recently, uh, a, a couple of weeks back. Yes. What else, guys? What are the other questions? Or let me move through the slides quickly. Uh, sir, what about CS? Is it advisable to do uh, CS? Somebody is asking. Yes, of course, it is advisable to do if you are interested in... Uh, uh, and is it manageable to study both? Absolutely. Man. If you are doing good in CA, I think it is. you can finish CA, CS uh, easily. It is not a tough thing. CS is, I am saying, please note that I am not saying CS is easy. I am saying if you are doing well in CA, you can clear CS easily. That's all I said. Okay. Don't misinterpret my statement. If you are a good CA per student or if you are studying CA very well, you can easily clear CS. Okay. Now, coming back to the next stuff. Do see exams clash between CA and CS? No, they don't. Uh, exam dates don't clash, but CA exams are in May and CS exams are in June, July. So you will uh, you will have to continuously study through the year or something or the other. Is ACCA need any undergraduate degree for better position? Yes, man. I, as I said always, no. You it is always better to have an undergraduate degree. But ACCA you can do even without an undergraduate degree. But then you will have to study uh, additional level uh, because undergraduates uh, have certain exemptions which you will not get if you don't have an undergraduate degree. 
Okay, moving on. Uh, why do students choose? As I said, uh, better salary, career growth. They want to move out of uh, this multiple attempts issue uh, and uh, similar recognition with a lot more flexibility to complete. Uh, ACC has very similar subjects, business technology, which is like similar to here. Whether CS ex article chip has any exemptions for ACC, uh, you have to specifically check uh, Vidya, Disha, Vasish. Uh, you have to specifically check if CS article chip has for, uh, for ACC. Drop us a line. I will check and let you know. Uh, my ACCA team will uh, revert to you on this. Uh, but I think to a certain extent it, there is, uh, but again, I will reconfirm it after checking with my team. Okay, drop a line to us at support at indigolearn.com and we will respond 100%. Uh, uh, and level two is, uh, you know, corporate law, performance management, taxation, accounting, auditing, financial management. And level three is uh, strategic business leader, which is basically like a CMP and, uh, you know, your uh, costing plus uh, things like that. And strategic business and uh, SFM and uh, strategic business reporting is your SFM uh, is your uh, FR. Then you have advanced financial management. You have to choose two out of four subjects. Okay, this is about ACCA uh, and uh, difficulties lower than CA. Uh, exam sessions more papers. Uh, you know, max four attempts in a paper, eight attempts in a four four papers in an attempt and eight papers in a year. It is computer based, very practical, lot more scenario based questions and is uh, there are exemptions for professionals. CMA, we already discussed uh, completely. Uh, CFA, as I said, is for people who want to get into the financial markets. Uh, it is three levels and uh, all these levels are computer based. Uh, you get MCQ based questions in the first level. Uh, second level case based MCQs, third level case based MCQs plus essay type questions. Uh, you know, it's a you know morning afternoon kind of sessions. Uh, all exams are about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes uh, each session. And, uh, uh, you know, exam results are given between, uh, you know, five to within 45 days and 60 days, so on and so forth. Pass rate is roughly between 40 and 50%. Uh, this is about uh, CF, CFA, uh, how the exam is conducted, and these are the weightage. All three levels have same topics, except for level three, where, you know, three topics don't exist. And this is the revised syllabus. Okay. So, ethics is a very, very important thing. You learn about fixed income, derivatives, uh, equity investment, portfolio management, economics, so on and so forth. This is the uh, what you learn in CFA. Now, somebody has asked a question, is it advisable to study CMA while preparing for CFA? Can we just complete it just in case we don't finish CFA? Uh, Murkut, I 100% agree with you. You go ahead and proceed, do it. Uh, there is no issue with that. I would strongly suggest you do it. Suraj, you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, we have uh, finished all questions. Uh, there is nothing else left with respect to the deck uh, largely. What are computer skills necessary for a CA, CA aspirant? Okay, Word, Excel, Power BI. And Word, Excel, Power BI, and PowerPoint. If you know Python, very good. If you know how to use chat GPT, even good. <laughs> you should know, there is a new, entire new stream of skills called prompting chat GPT. So you should know how to ask a question to chat GPT. Uh, that is also a very important skill. Whether tally is necessary for CA. Uh, so, so, again, this is a very honest opinion. Uh, small corporates use tally. There are some uh, large corporates who use tally, but a lot of large corporates use uh, ERPs like SAP or Oracle. Uh, so, it depends on what you want to do. Uh, I always believe that learning a new skill is very important. So, tally is definitely important. But I won't say tally is the most necessary skill. Okay. Uh, when you are in article ship, tally is extremely important. But once you're out of article ship in a job, if you're joining a smaller mid-sized organization, tally is important. Otherwise, you need to learn something like SAP. They will teach you on the job. So don't worry about it. But uh, you know, cut long story short, tally, yes, is important. Why ACC has not reached much in India? Uh, the reason is they don't have income tax, GST, and company side. That is the reason why they are uh, behind than CA because Indian uh, CAs learn all of those and income tax and uh, GST are very important, right? You need to understand what is happening. Uh, I know they're not very, you know, it's no rocket science, but still you, if you're getting a 20 year old who knows say, income tax, GST and companies act, and you're getting another 20 year old who doesn't know those two, uh, those three subjects, then you'll choose the one who knows, right? So that is the reason moment why ACCA has not reached a uh, grown significantly larger in India. Okay, so these are the courses that we teach, uh, CFA in association with Kaplan, CMA in association with Lime. Uh, we have more than 10,000 plus students, a lot of all India ranks, 20 plus faculty, 
you know you know what we do you know you know all of us are uh, you know uh, faculty with our domain expertise and we've got excellent feedback from students uh, this feedback is across all courses whichever course we have taught uh, we we got phenomenal feedback uh, and this is about us this is you know uh, we have won some awards we are covered in uh, media we have a lot of tie ups we have tie ups with colleges in hyderabad we have tie ups with shastra university in tamil nadu we have uh, you know and we are uh, as i said uh, partners of uh, 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 kaplan as well as blank so this is about us uh, this is about us now one thing whoever has stayed till the end we have an offer so if you are planning to register for cfa or acca or cma you can use this code one fin 10 uh, i don't think this works on cma us but all other courses it works uh, use this code one fin 10 so number 1 fi in in caps in uh, alphabets and 1010 uh, you use this code you get 10% off if you wish to buy if you wish to enroll with us reach out to us at uh, you know on these places uh, this number 9640111110 or you can always email us at supportedindigoland.com and as i said there is this particular code you can use you can get 10% off this code is valid for you know probably you know few more days from now uh, so feel free to enroll with us uh, feel you know or call us for any doubts there are two three people who reached out to us to whom i said you know please send your specific question somebody on isb related stuff somebody is asked something on uh, cs uh, article should being uh, you know uh, considered for acca do reach out to us on support@indigoland.com and we'll help you okay anything else suraj you want to add no i think uh, we have covered it uh, nicely and uh, sorry for the uh, disturbance from my end uh, there have been continuous uh, fluctuations of internet and power Okay. Right. So, uh, if you have more questions, uh, students, you can uh, you know uh, ping us on forum. You can reach out to the number nine six four zero one 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 zero. You can send us a WhatsApp. Uh, all the course guides are available. You can download them. Right. And uh, think of this additional course or additional certification as a pathway to your uh, better career. Right. So, uh, if you want to understand the importance of each of these courses, so you can just go to LinkedIn and start searching. Let's say you search for ACCA. You will see a number of profiles, and you will figure out. Okay, someone is a CA plus an ACCA, or someone is a BCom plus an ACCA. Someone is a CMA plus you know ACCA, or someone is a CFA and CA. So you will get to know what kind of different uh, profiles exist, what kind of different combination of uh, you know qualifications exist, and what are they currently doing. So that becomes a very important uh, you know way to understand how a particular. professional qualification would help you to accelerate your career so that is uh, you know uh, in conclusion that is what i would uh, want to say and uh, stay in touch uh, whenever you feel like uh, you need more information do feel free to uh, reach out to us and i'm sorry and somebody asked a question can you conduct a webinar on chat gpt in accounting <laughs> yeah we How can you start uh, so it's it's not a webinar as such but yes definitely we can uh, showcase to you some of the you know use cases of uh, chat gpt in fact uh, i have uh, you know given the ca final fr questions for, uh, and gave it gave it as an input for chat gpt and the first time the answer was correct the second time the answer was not correct and we have a lot of students who use chat gpt to answer queries which are asked on forum and again uh, some of the times they are correct some of the times they are not correct right so you should know how to use chat gpt and definitely a very good uh, suggestion uh, we will definitely uh, consider that uh, one thing what i was uh, mentioning is uh, whatever decision you have to take regarding your career right you have to take it as quickly or as early as possible right uh, i have seen students uh, my, there are my students who have you know attended classes when they are uh, you know 35 years 40 years 45 years 50 years uh, for this international courses uh, you should you can decide at that point of time that's not a problem but you should not be delaying it why why de- when you have to do do it now rather than doing it after 15 years okay so that is uh, uh, one more thing i would like to communicate uh, whichever course you choose to if you don't want to do it's perfectly fine it's not that it is a force to do this course or you know because we are insisting you to do but do give a thought uh, do check out uh, linkedin profiles with these uh, certifications and qualifications that actually will help you understand uh, you know the kind of opportunities that unfold uh thanks a lot for uh, staying long and uh, the, i think uh, this small part which was missed 
do check out LinkedIn profiles with the relevant certifications. Search for ACC, ACCA, search for CFA, search for CMA, and you will get uh, you know uh, a broad idea of uh, what is the career path for you. Right? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay, chalo. Thank you guys. It's late in the night for Saturday evening. So have a great uh, weekend and all the very best. Uh, looking forward to you know uh, see you a lot of you coming on. Good night. Thank you.